Welcome everybody to another video. It's been a while since I filmed a recent pickups video, so I thought it's time. I acquired quite a few pieces over the last four months or so, and I thought I'm gonna show you all the pieces that I got. And because I got a lot of pieces, I thought I'm gonna split the recent pickups video in two. So I'm gonna start with the designer pieces or the pricier ones. And then I'm gonna do a second part with the more affordable pieces. If I had put all the pieces in one video, it would have been too long. So yeah, that's why I decided to do two videos. In this video, we're gonna have about 20 pieces and mainly designer pieces because I'm currently investing in high quality pieces in brands that I like and I believe in and pieces that are gonna last for a long time. So I'm also trying to slim down my wardrobe at the same time and only keep the pieces that I really love wearing and that are made of high quality garments and that are also gonna last for a long time and yeah that's what I'm currently doing let's start with footwear so the first pair is this pair of Andemüller Mista heeled boots they've been on my wish list for over a year I discovered them last year at Essence and first of all I saw the pair that came without the laces, just with the zipper. This one has a zipper. And it was on my wish list, they were quite pricey, about 1k euros. And I was lucky enough to find them on Yux for a really good price. I think I got them for 300 something. And I think it's a really, really good pair, high quality. The first one wearing them was quite painful, I'm not gonna lie but I hope they're gonna soften up and be more comfy over the time. But I think a black pair of heel boots with such a nice and slim shape is a really nice investment for my wardrobe, for my style. And I think it goes also very well with everything else that I have in my wardrobe. So yeah, you're gonna see me wearing more black in the future. And yeah, super happy with those. Quality is amazing. They are quite heavy because it's a wooden sole and the heel is really high so I feel like I'm very tall wearing those. So I'm looking forward to experiment with those and style them with different outfits. And yeah, let's move on with the second pair. The next pair is this pair of Martin Rose open toe loafers. I really love the design, it's really cool. Obviously I bought them in last summer, I think it was in July or August and I got a lot of wear out of them as you can see from the sole. I still love those loafers, they are so versatile. I've worn them with so many outfits. They're also very comfy and I think the design is so good. For me it's perfect for the summer because I was looking for a nice pair of shoes for the summer that aren't too casual or too dressy and I found them again on Yux for a really good price, I think 200 something. I think the chain is a really nice touch, the open toe just caught my eye and I knew I had to get them. So really happy with this pair. Martin Rose, amazing designer, you should check her work out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. And yeah, let's move on to the next part. So the next pair is this pair of Our Legacy Mules again with an open back but with a closed front i think the design is so beautiful it's so minimal and versatile a few days ago i think it was a week ago or two that i received an email from Matches fashion telling me that this pair is back in stock in my size so i immediately bought them 50 percent off i think i paid only 180 euros and I'm super happy with them. I didn't know that I would love them so much, but they actually work so well with my style. And I think they look really cool if you wear them with a really wide pair of trousers with they only peek out at the front. Let's move on to trousers and shorts. Oh no, there's one pair left, the best pair of them all. Next pair, you probably know if you've been watching my videos. I did a video about this one, if you haven't seen it, um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below or over here. And these are the Bottega Veneta quilted slip-ons. The design is so special. I really love the padded design. They are also very lightweight and very comfy. 
and the color just speaks to me. As you probably know, I love my beige tones, the whole earthy color palette, and they just go perfectly with everything that I have in my wardrobe. So very versatile, high quality as usual for Bottega Veneta pieces. And yeah, super happy with those. I'm so glad that I got them. And yeah, if you want to hear the story, how I got them and how I styled them and everything else, you can watch the review, which is in the description box below. I think that's it for the footwear. Let's move on to bottoms. Those are the Bottega Veneta pleated shorts. I think this is a beautiful color. The shape is amazing. I love the details, the pockets at the back, the square that is very reminiscent of Bottega Veneta. And the fabric is also really nice. It's like a really thick cotton that stays in shape. It's a beautiful pair of shorts. I was looking for a really nice pair of shorts that I would love to wear during the summer. And this is the one. This is the perfect pair of shorts for me personally. And also when I'm wearing those, they are super wide. And as I said, the fabric is quite thick and it stays in place. It looks like I'm wearing a skirt and you know that I love skirts. So amazing design, Bottega Veneta, beautiful, beautiful pair of shorts that I could also wear on not so cold winter days layered with knitwear and with a nice long coat and boots I think that's gonna look really cool and let's move on to the next one the next pair is this Daniel W Fletcher trousers they have those amazing pockets over here I love the design they are on the slimmer side but they flare out at the bottom, which is lovely. And they have a slit at the back. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to wear them because when I wear them, I think my feet go up to this part and then this flares out extremely. So I just need to figure out how to get them tailored, but I'm gonna show you how they look like on the model. But yeah, it's a beautiful piece. Daniel W. Fletcher, he's a British designer based in London. You should check him out. The next and final pair of trousers are those Under Milo Mister trousers from the Fall Winter 2020 collection. And as you probably know, I'm obsessed with Under Milo Mister trousers. This color goes perfectly with everything that is in my wardrobe. Really happy to have all the three colors. Yes, I got all the three colors. Whenever I see something in different colors that I really like, I tend to buy as many colors as I can because I know that I would be wearing them and having different colors of the same shape really adds value for myself, for my style and for my wardrobe. And I'm not sure if I've shown you the third color, which is black, but you can check out the video down below. I'm not gonna let those go and I'm gonna take care of them to be able to wear them for many years to come. And now we can move on to tops and knitwear. So the first top is this Casablanca polo with the pearl buttons. It's a beautiful polo. When I saw this piece on the Casablanca Instagram, I'm gonna show you a picture now. I thought that this outfit is beautiful and I fell in love with the polo because of the really nice fabric and also the pearls. And at this point, I didn't have any polos in my wardrobe. So I thought, okay, I, you usually don't like polos, but you should give this one a go because it looks beautiful and it can add another element to my style into my wardrobe and I thought okay let's give this a go if it doesn't look good on me or I don't like it I'm just gonna return it and I really loved it I wore it quite a few times during the summer and I think I could also wear it during the winter I think layered with a white or off-white turtleneck underneath it's gonna look really cool but I still need to try if it works yeah Casablanca really nice fabric really soft feels so good on my skin and yeah that's the first top let's move on another beautiful polo and this one is from Bottega Veneta I also bought it with the shorts that I just showed you and it was also on sale 40% off and I had to get it because it was 
I thought it was unique that you find Bottega Veneta pieces on sale because at this point I hadn't seen any pieces from Bottega Veneta on sale online. So I tried it on, fell in love with it, wore it a fair amount of times during the summer and it's just beautiful. The color, the knitting, everything is beautiful about this one. And I think it adds another nice element to my wardrobe and I love to play with new pieces that are very special and this is gonna give me a lot of creative freedom to try new styles. Okay, let's move on to the next stop. Okay, the next one is this Kelvin Klein 205 W39 NYC knitwear with a v-neck and the distressed details as you can see. It's a beautiful, beautiful knitwear and very oversized and this color is really nice i think it goes very well with my brown tones in my wardrobe and i found it here actually in cologne in a pop-up store which had a big sale recently i went there and i found this beautiful knitwear piece i actually wanted to get a few pieces when this collection came out like two or three years ago i'm very happy that a few years later I'm able to cop a few pieces because I have another one from this collection. Really nice, beautiful piece, very soft, perfect for winter. You can layer up. You can also wear it during the spring because it's not too heavy. It's made of cotton. That's about this one. Let's move on to the next one. The next piece is from the same collection, Calvin Klein by Ralph Simmons. And it's this beautiful black chunky knit top that is quite long and quite heavy but also very soft at the same time and again I want to add more black to my wardrobe and I think this is an amazing piece that is very versatile and that can be also layered for example with a turtleneck underneath amazing quality beautiful design very timeless in my opinion and yeah, I'm happy to add this one to my wardrobe and to my black colored pieces in my wardrobe. I've worn it a few times and if you have been following me on my Instagram, you might have seen it on my Instagram already. So yeah, that's about this one. Let's move on to the next one. The next knitwear is this turtleneck by Balenciaga. It looks like a normal turtleneck, but if you look at the back, you can see that there is a slit over here. So it's open at the back. It has a very interesting shape. And also you have the Balenciaga logo at the back as well. The knitwear fabric is really heavy and feels really high quality. It's made of 100% wool and it's a women's turtleneck. It's the size medium, but it fits perfect on my body. I have a nice drop shoulder, I have a white silhouette on top and it goes slimmer around the waist and the amazing detail with the open back, I really appreciate that. If you look at it from the front, it looks like, like, like a nice regular oversized turtleneck but if I turn around and you, you look at the back, you see that it has a quite amazing cut and design and if I don't want to show a little bit of my back on a day and still want to wear this one, I can just layer a black top underneath and I'm good. So yeah, beautiful piece by Balenciaga. Really nice quality. I'm really happy with the quality and with the cut. And let's move on with the next piece. The next piece of knitwear is this amazing cardigan by the brand Art Comes First. You should definitely check their work out. They don't only do clothing, but also amazing and inspiring work. So I'm gonna leave a link to their Instagram in the description box below. This one is beautiful, distressed details everywhere, on the sleeves, at the back, and you have the A at the left side of the chest, and it says fashion against racism. And I think that's a really important message. Really love this piece. Another black piece that it's very versatile and that I can style with so many pieces in my wardrobe. You would definitely see me wearing this piece a lot during the coming weeks and months. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. The next piece is more like a spring or summer piece. 
and it's from the brand 80s and I think the shape, the cut is really interesting as you can see it has this really weird at first glance cut it's really beautiful and I think it's a nice new silhouette to add to my wardrobe and you can see you have the side cut here so that you can pull it down over your trousers and that's gonna create a really nice interesting silhouette I think it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but I'm happy to experiment with this new piece and style it with more slimmer pants. I also like the neckline and the buttons at the front. Really nice, very tight, but I like some really skin tight tops sometimes. And as I mentioned before, I want to experiment more with slimmer and wider silhouettes. And I think that's a great choice to experiment with that. Let's move on to the next part. The next one is this beautiful Daniel W. Fletcher knitted vest. It is very stretchy and also tight, but it's also very comfy to wear. And I really like the zipper at the front, which you can use to reveal your belly button, if that's something you wish to do during the summer. Or when you feel fancy, I really love the raw edges and the shoulder detail on the left and on the right. And I think it's an amazing piece that you can wear during all seasons. Again, it goes perfectly with everything that I have in my wardrobe. And I think I'm gonna wear this quite a lot. I've worn it already. I'm gonna show you a few pictures. Daniel W. Fletcher, size medium. I'm 186 centimeters and 76 kilograms for your information. Okay, last but not least, we have the Bottega Veneta Pre-Fall 2020, the same collection as the quilted leather slip-ons are from and this piece is so beautiful it's huge as you can see it's very very oversized and has a very deep v neck line and i think it's beautiful it's 100 percent cotton quite heavy of course there's a lot of fabric i just need to figure out how to wear this during the winter because it's very oversized and I can hardly wear a coat over it because I have so much fabric everywhere and it looks weird sometimes. And also the deep v neckline is not great for winter unless I layer up. So yeah, I'm gonna figure that out, but it's an amazing and beautiful piece. And now let's move on to the next one. The next one is a set and it's from the designer Jan Jan van Esse. It's a Belgian designer and I went to the Antwerp sale a few days ago, about a week ago. I went to the store and I found this amazing set on sale and it's quite different from the things that I usually wear in terms of the silhouette, the shape and also the color. I think the color is really, really nice. It goes again perfectly with everything that I have in my wardrobe. The trousers have an amazing cut. I love the drop crotch. And when I tried these on, I fell in love with them. They go perfectly with my style and with everything else that I have in my wardrobe. And I think it's an amazing designer that I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on because he's been designing really special and beautiful pieces and I think he has created his own world which you can see with their aesthetics, the colors they choose, the fabrics they choose and the whole image of the brand is just something that speaks to me. You should definitely check out this brand, very special, definitely not everybody's cup of tea. The quality is amazing, the prices are quite high, so if you ever have a chance to Check this brand out, you should, and the best would be if you get some nice offers on sale, of course. So, Jan Jan van Esse loved this set. The jacket isn't very thick, but I think I can layer it up during the winter with a nice warm turtleneck underneath, because it's a very wide jacket, so that shouldn't be a problem to wear those pieces during the winter, and also I'm gonna be wearing those, those during the spring and the summer, of course. 
So that's the best thing about pieces that you can wear throughout the whole year. It's just a matter of styling, how you can wear them in different seasons. Amazing designer that I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on and let's move on. So the next piece and the first piece of outerwear is this stunning jacket by the brand Lone. I've worn it a few times on my Instagram and I'm really happy with the cut and with the quality of this piece. I think it's a jacket that really elevates my wardrobe because I didn't have any sort of this type of jacket. I mainly wear coats and a few jackets, but this one is a really nice addition. Also the color and the structure, it's beautiful. I love the huge pockets, the details. It's a brand that I've been eyeing for a few years now. So they do really amazing, high quality, minimal pieces, I would say. So if you like my personal style, the beige and earthy color palette, I'm sure you're gonna love this brand. So make sure to check them out. The link is gonna be in the description box below. The next piece is a hat, which is quite special for my style. It's from the brand Transit and I really love the coated look and the stitching that goes all over the head. It's a really nice head, really something new for myself and for my wardrobe, but I want to experiment more with this type of style. I really love the Comme des Garçons, Yoji Yamamoto and Junior Watanabe aesthetic and I want to get more in this direction, slowly but surely. I don't want to change my whole wardrobe from one day to the other. I just want to try and experiment more with those pieces. So yeah, amazing hat. And let's move on to the coats. The next piece and the first coat is this beautiful system coat. It's a Korean brand and I've been to a few shows of them in Paris. And I immediately love their style, the silhouettes. It's very me, you know, I love Korean brands. And I found this one on sale when I was in Copenhagen in August. I love the cut. I love the hidden button details on the coat. The lapels are beautiful. The color is amazing. I don't have any gray coats. It's quite oversized, so I can layer a few pieces underneath, which is great for winter, quite heavy and the quality is so so great so and now let's move on to the best piece last but not least we have my personal favorite of this video this margella maison margella coat which is stunning i think it's from the fall winter 2020 collection this was on my wish list. I think it retailed for 2.5k euros and it's just too much for me to spend on a coat. I kept it in my wish list. Over a year later, I found it on sale for a really good price. Super happy with this one. Just received it like two days ago. I haven't worn this out, but I've tried it on and I'm really in love with this one. I'm gonna be wearing it a lot, but I also need to be very careful because this color is dangerous to wear, especially during winter. It's a stunning piece. The design is so amazing. It looks like a sample piece and like an unfinished piece, which is very Magella. I love all the details, the stitching, the different colors of the stitching, the pockets at the front, which are real pockets, and the quality feels so good. High quality, big shoulders, and it's just an amazing piece and you can even remove the belt if you want to or just keep it and i think i will be able to style it in so so many ways and i'm looking forward to it so yeah that's gonna conclude this video everyone i hope you enjoyed it as i said there's gonna be a part two coming in the next weeks with the more affordable pieces and everything that i've shown you here I got mainly on sale. That's something I want to emphasize. If you want to have high quality pieces and you just don't have the budget to spend it on full price designer items, make your wish list, wait for the sale season, buy second hand. Just be patient because I had to wait for almost two years, one and a half years for that coat 
to be able to buy it. So yeah, you need to be patient to get designer pieces for a decent price and take care of your pieces and then you're gonna be way more happy than spending your money on pieces that aren't high quality, that you're gonna wear just a few times or that gonna rip apart after just a few times wearing them. So yeah, it's definitely worth investing in high quali higher quality pieces and pieces that you really love and not something that you think, mm, this is cute, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna wear it at some point. That's at least my point of view. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's been definitely increasing the value of my wardrobe, the versatility, and also most importantly, the longevity of the pieces that I own that I have in my wardrobe. Keep that in mind. Please let me know in the comments which piece was your favorite, what piece did you get in the last few weeks or months. Let me know if there is a piece that you really love. And also if you have any video requests, please also let me know in the description box below. No, in the comment section down below. And if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok already, you can do so by checking out the description box below. I want to thank you all for sticking with me, being patient, for not being consistent here on YouTube. I'm really working on that. That's something I keep saying, but yeah, thank you so much for staying here and watching my videos and for the whole support that you're giving me every time. I truly appreciate that. Um, Enjoy your day, take care and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.